Hello YouTube, I'll be showing you um, my new web browser, Max Explorer V10. Um, this is release 1. Um, uh, source code is going to be released. I'm sure it's going to be a big hit that I really did release it. Um, I'm not going to go over the source code much, but I am going to show you the application. Um, in the description, you'll be able to install Max Explorer, and then I'll have a unpackable little um, self-unpacking RAR package that I'll also have for the source code. Um, the source code will include... Hold on, give me a moment. Um, the source code will include um, Chrome Bar. It's basically just a text box um, that has a URL drop-down suggestion list or whatever. And um, it also tells you if it's it, it's a URL or it wants to be searched, like it is in Google Chrome. That's where it's got its name, Chrome Bar. Um, you also have the source for Max browser. This can be integrated into almost any application. It includes Chrome Bar, so it does require this, but um, you shouldn't have any problems with that. It will it. It's basically most of Max Explorer, except for like you no know, bookmarks and there's an ad blocker, trusted list, anything that you see inside a tab. The anything inside of the tab is the um, Max browser, nothing else. And um, of course, Max Explorer, MDI tab control. It's uh, not really my source code. You can download it on Code Project. Uh, I'll try to find a link if I have one. And stars. This is my latest creation in web browsers and .NET. Um, I'll also be releasing my uh, Max Captcha 2.5. It's for Captcha systems. It's not used in Max Explorer, but it will be available for download source code and some whatever else it is. Um, library. Stars is a rating thing, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. All right, now that you know what the components are, um, into the browser itself. Um, I plan on adding a splash screen before I release it. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do that. Um, because it takes a moment to load because it contacts my, uh, website, Apache and MySQL. And it downloads the latest app list and trust list. So that you always have constant updates on if it's trusted site. And, um, reported URLs. Like, it'll add them to the ad blocker well, I still have to integrate a thing that warns you. Um, so it's not quite ready for rele full release. So I am going to release it, don't worry, but um, it's not fully done yet. This is the pre release uh, beta, whatever. Um, as you see, since my last video, I have added um, quite a bit of color. The only problem is uh... progress bars and this for some reason it doesn't change the background color i just did it because like people are always like you need some color in it i'm not very good at coloring if anybody wants to um... help me with the coloring of it that would be awesome but this is just basic coloring um... with uh... two of my favorite colors blue and red random shades of it and stuff um, like I said, the Chrome bar, it's, it was in my, it was one, it's one, the, one of the only components that was saved from my fatal crash that completely destroyed Max Explorer V9. Um, here's what it does. Let's say I type in cool. It searches. Um, you can also, also notice how fast my web browser is. Um, and if I type in google.com. It goes google.com. Now, um, one thing I plan on adding is something I, I plan on calling calling Quick Links. It's where, like, it'll have a database in the application or maybe in MySQL or something. And um, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to add your own or maybe publicize them or something. And you'll type in, for instance, YT for YouTube. And there'll be another bar down here, and it'll bring you right to YouTube. And um, that's what this space is reserved for. And until I add it, I just put a little date thing down here. Um, I did add Internet Explorer icons for some of them, not options. So, um, I'm not, I'm not sure if this works or not, but um, I had some problems with it earlier that I had to fix. So, um, well, it might be working now. 
um, and report will report the URL I added it there. Um, bookmarks, there's a problem where, um, after you started the application, you had trouble, since it's stored in settings, I use just random st characters and numbers and stuff, and all that to separate the URL and the other thing, the uh, title. So, um, there was a problem where it was split when we removed the first character. So, I had to, um, change that. Um, in tools, there's now a feedback. And this is my stars.dll. Um, it does flicker. That's the only defect. But other than that, you can click and it stops. Well, it still flickers. Um, it's based on when you move the mouse and when you click. Um, it's now you, if you think it's just a bunch of picture boxes, it's not. It gets the uh, mouse's location within the control, um, and it each one is exactly 20 pixels across. So um, it divides it every 20, and uh, divides it by every 20, and determines what it's over. That's uh, some basic paint stuff for making your own controls. Um, URLs and page, I showed that last time. Misc, developer. I added view source. Um, I think, yeah, I showed that last video. Calculator. Notepad. It even has a working fine function. And chat. This is a... This used to be my uh, World of Warcraft private service chat room, but I moved it to here. Um, that's it for tools. Edit, there's new tab, and settings. Um, yeah, it also has a proxy server. Um, this only works, this is the same as the Internet Explorer one, it's just some random code. I picked off when I was a long time ago, and I found the code again, so I added that. Um, and you may think that that there's a lot of glitches in the tabs. Um, by the way, the the tabs aren't Max browser, only the, like the buttons, the URL bar, and the browser itself, and the zoom and progress bar. But um, it's still kind of buggy with the icon, but other than that, works just fine. Um. Yeah, I say it um, a lot. Deal with it. It will take a moment, but it will update the icon. And... Like in my last res, I plan on adding autocomplete and all that stuff. Um, save as, print, print preview, properties, and exit. Just some basic stuff. That's just about it. Zoom does work. And, like I said, I'm not sure if errors work or not. I'll check check that out myself. And, oh, that's something to fix. Uh, be right back. I gotta analyze this and stuff. Alright, sorry about that. I just completely redid, like, four things. Well, anyways... Um, I have to start it back up. Um, you, Max Explorer is completely portable. Um, that means if you, like, down, install it, go to the install directory, you can copy the exe and all the DLLs, you can move them anywhere, as long as they're in the same directory, you can have them on anything, because they require no registry keys, and... They, they don't require any special things in the registry or in your system that it changes. The only thing it is is DLs and an EXE, nothing else. So, in the end, it's extremely portable. Um, I just didn't add a install whatever you want feature because I didn't really spend much time on the installation. Um, let's see, where was it? Oh, um, well, well, that's all I can think of. So, um, remember you can download everything in the description. And uh, by the way, 
um, all the, everything actually I decided is probably going to be in just one really big file, all the source code and the main download and the download source code and the max capture and all that stuff. Um, you can use any of these things in your programs, the stars, the max capture, even the chrome bar, anything, the max browser, any of that. But make sure you do one important thing, give credits in your application. And, um, if you do sell it, don't don't count on the cost of my Max browser or any other uh, any other of my components. They're free components, and uh, um, well, that's just about it. So remember, subscribe, like, and have fun with a lot of source code. Probably two or three thousand lines, all typed by me except for a few lines which I downloaded. Um. Um, yeah, goodbye, and I hope you like my browser. Um, remember, download in the description and subscribe. You must subscribe. Alright, goodbye.